So if you saw my previous video about welding reinforcements onto the rear arms of the E30, uh, today I'm going to be welding reinforcements onto the front subframe which is another common failure point on the E30. Uh, this time however, I've been a bit smarter and bought myself one of these pre-cut kits. Um, so this should make life a lot easier and some of these shapes are, are quite a bit more complex and I'd have struggled to cut them out myself. Um, so hopefully I can weld them in and the welds will look a lot better than last time. This part's actually where the front anti-roll bar connects to the front subframe uh, and these tabs are, are known to snap off especially if you're upgrading the, uh, the anti-roll bar to a thicker item. The kit that I've bought, uh, links in the description for it, um, is slightly different to most of the kits. Most of the kits seem to weld onto the other side uh, and they don't have this connecting bar here. Uh, looking at this, I'm thinking about um, cutting off this central bar and, and attaching it to the other side because the problem I can see on this side is one it interferes it'll interfere with the uh, anti-roll bar bush and two it doesn't quite touch up to that tab that snaps off so I can't see that being the best way to reinforce it to be honest so with a, a bit of a modification to this with an angle grinder I suspect it'll fit nicely on the other side uh, and you'll see how I get on with that
Give him off. Right, so that's the front subframe painted in epoxy primer after having welded these reinforcement plates in. Uh, I'll be painting it black at a later date when I paint a bunch of other things black at the same time. Uh, so this just means it won't rust in the meantime. You might notice that I've um, welded on the engine mounting reinforcement parts to the outside of the subframe rather than the inside. Um, I've done this uh, intentionally even though it's the less common way to do it. Uh, and that's because with an M52 swap you find the sump sits very low on the car um, and many people end up running spacers to raise the engine slightly. Having welded these plates on the outside, that shouldn't be necessary for me. I had a much easier time welding on this than I did with the rear arms uh, and as a result I've had to do a lot less grinding down and I think it looks uh, a bit more reasonable than my last attempt. Welding is one of those things that uh, is much more difficult than it looks. Um, so, as I've got a fair amount of welding to do on the car yet, uh, if you've got any tips for how I can improve my technique and get better looking stronger welds, then uh, feel free to leave me some tips down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing is moving on to the brakes for the car, um, so make sure you subscribe to see how I get on with those.